we know that he is the reason why we're alive. He's the reason why we can see today, the reason why we can walk. We're here to give him the worship. Oh, something simple to say. You are the reason why I lift my hands, why I lift my voice, why I sing to you. You are the reason I'm alive today. That is why I'm here to stay. It's all because of you. Somebody sing, you are the reason. You are the reason why I lift my hands. Why I lift my voice. Why I lift my voice. Why I sing to you. Why I sing to you. Yeah, you are the reason. I'm alive today. I'm alive today. That is why I'm here to say. I am here to say. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. Somebody say, you are the reason why I live my life. You are the reason why I live my life. Why I live my voice. Why I live my voice. Why I sing to you. Why I sing to you. Oh, oh, oh. You are the reason. It's all 
because of you. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. You're the reason. You're the reason. You're the reason. You are. Somebody sing. You're the reason. You're the it's all because of you, what this means Jesus is the reason yeah. that you're even breathing that we're even standing yeah, 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 here yeah. that we're even worshipping him it's because of him so I want you to sing this from the bottom of your heart you're the reason you are somebody sing you're the reason you're the that we are in we have been in mess all our lives and you you stretch forth your hand and you saved us there is nothing greater than that the gift of salvation the gift of being alive most of the times we don't we don't appreciate God for the little things we wake up and we don't know why we can't even wake up on our own we can sleep you, you have a medicine to sleep but there's no medicine to wake up it's all because of him so I'm singing to him. You are the reason why we can lift our hands and why we can lift our voices. Why we even sing to you. You are the reason we are alive today. And the children you have saved are here to say is all because of you oh, 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 oh. somebody sing you're the reason sing you're the reason you're the reason you're the reason you're the reason Oh, 
Daughter is a Daughter is a why I sing to you. You are the reason I'm alive today. You are the reason I'm alive today. And how I'm here to say. I am here to say, it's all because of you. It's all because of you. You are the reason why I lift our hands. You are the reason why I lift my hands. Why I lift my voice. Why I lift my voice. Why I sing to you? Why I sing to you? La la la, you are the reason I'm alive today. You are the reason I'm alive today. And I am here to say, I am here to say, it's all because of, it's all because of you. Somebody give him worship. Give him worship. Hallelujah. Uh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I declare that the Lord bless you real good in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The the best is yet to come for you in Jesus' name. Come on, if you believe it, shout amen. God bless you. You may be seated. You may be seated. I greet you all in Jesus' name. What an awesome praise and worship. Glory to God. Then Pastor Masha came up and Take it to another level. Glory to God. We bless God for all of you. Amen. Let's go quick. I've been teaching on the Holy Spirit. The third member of the Trinity. I truly believe a lot of people, didn't, they don't truly understand who the Holy Spirit is. We've taught that the Holy Spirit is not fire. But it purifies like fire. Holy Spirit is not water. It cleans like water. Holy Spirit is not wind. Even the Bible says it came as of a rushing wind. It's not wind. But when it's present, it begins to move stuff. Holy Spirit is not electricity switch. That you switch on and off. Holy Spirit has his own will. Amen. Holy Spirit is a person. Amen. Holy Spirit is to us what Jesus was to the disciples. Holy Spirit is the breath of God. Holy Spirit is our counselor. Holy Spirit is the administrator of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit is the breath of God. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit is God. Amen. God the Holy Spirit. But I want to focus today on the assignment and purpose and function of the Holy Spirit. Uh, last week was uh, the day of Pentecost. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 3, verses 16 to 19. We talked about the form of the functions and uh, assignment and the purpose of the Holy Spirit. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 16. See, that you will that he will grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through his spirit. Through the Holy Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your heart through faith, that you be rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width, what is the length, what is the depth. And height of the love of Christ. Of the love of Christ. Through the Holy Spirit. He said the Holy Spirit. In the inner man. He would dwell in us. Christ dwell in us. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By faith. 
that we may be grounded and be rooted in love. May be able to comprehend with all the saints the wit. How can we know the wit of the love of God? How can we know the length of the word of the love of God? How can we know the depth of the love of Christ? How can we know the height? The height of the love of Christ. Hallelujah. But the Bible is telling us the only way we can know it is through the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit that minister in our heart. That minister in our heart and dispense the, whole, the love of God inside of us. There's some knowledge, there's some things that we cannot know without the Holy Spirit. Apostle, Apostle Paul, he said the, the, the depth of the love of Christ. How deep is the love of Christ? The length of the love of Christ. How long is the love of Christ? The weight of the love of Christ. There's no way we can know it without the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is the one. That revealed to us the depth, the height, and the width of the love of Christ. One of the functions of the Holy Spirit, number one. Holy Spirit revealed to us the fullness of the person of Jesus. Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot have the knowledge. We cannot have the revelation of the person of Christ. But by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit knows Jesus completely. He knows him completely. When Jesus was born, Holy Spirit was there. When Jesus baptized, Holy Spirit was there. The Bible says Jesus saw the Holy Spirit descending like a dove. And also Holy Spirit is on the dove. Are you hearing me? So the Holy Spirit revealed to us the fullness of the person of Christ. And because the Holy Spirit knows Jesus completely, his function among us is to reveal everything about Jesus. Among the disciples, when they were with Jesus, the disciples, they don't even know who Jesus was. They didn't know who he was. Jesus asked them, whom do you think I am? Who? They didn't know him. They were right there with him. But they didn't really know who Jesus was. Some say he's a prophet. Some said he's this. Some said he's that. But Peter, get up. And Peter said, you are the son of God. You and the Messiah. But you know what Jesus said? Jesus said to me, flesh and blood did not reveal this to you. It was the Holy Spirit of God that revealed to Peter who Jesus was really is. They didn't know that Jesus was God in the flesh. Are you hear what I'm saying? They didn't know that he was the Messiah. The Messiah was right there with them. They didn't even know it. They didn't even know it until the Holy Spirit revealed it to Peter. Hallelujah. He said, you are the son of God. You are the Messiah. And Jesus replied, ah, uh -uh. you think you don't have the knowledge of this? You don't know who I'm really is. This is a revelation to you. It's not coming from you. It's coming from my Father in heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Today I bless God for the Holy Spirit. Because without the Holy Spirit, we will not have the fullness of the person of Christ. Holy Spirit revealed his person. Holy Spirit revealed his character. Holy Spirit revealed his mind. I just read, Holy Spirit revealed his love. 
the width of his love, the depth of his love, the length of his love, the width of it is only known by the Holy Spirit. Another thing that the Holy Spirit will reveal to us, Holy Spirit is here to also reveal to us the nearness of the coming of Jesus. The Holy Spirit that will reveal to us the second coming of Jesus. We may not be able to know the time. He will not reveal the time. But he will reveal the sign. We will have the sign when the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit revealed to us. Holy Spirit leadership is supernatural. Holy Spirit leadership is supernatural. Without the Holy Spirit, it is impossible for us to know Jesus, the fullness of Jesus, the love of Jesus, to know the love of Jesus, the depth of it, the length of it, the width of it, it is impossible for us to know the depth of his love. Not only that, that the Holy Spirit revealed to us, Holy Spirit is also responsible to dispense or to distribute the love of God in our heart. Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot have the love of God. Because the love of God is spiritual love. Now, let's go quick to Romans chapter 5, verse 5. He said, now hope does not disappoint because of the love of God has been poured out into our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Holy Spirit is the one that poured the love of God into our heart. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. Without the Holy Spirit, we will not know the fullness of Christ. Without the Holy Spirit, the love of God cannot dwell in our heart. That's why those that are not saved, those that don't have the Holy Spirit, they don't have agape love. The only way you can have agape love is only when the Holy Spirit pours it into your heart. When you are saved, he pours it into your heart. Hallelujah. It is by the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Number two. One of the assignments of the Holy Spirit is to reveal to us the finished work of the cross. The finished work of the cross. In the Hebrew culture, in the Old Testament, truth is always established by witness. Truth is always established by witness. Without witnesses, truth cannot be established. That's what the Bible says, out of the mouth of two or three, the word of God will be established so in that culture, if there's no witness, don't tell me somebody tell you and somebody tell you. And I hear from somebody, truth cannot be established like that. The way truth being established, you must be an eyewitness. If you are not an eyewitness, you cannot witness to truth. Because word filters. Are you hearing me? I can touch on one, two, three, four. And the passing on to Stephanie. And Stephanie pass it on to Jesse. And Jesse pass it on to, Sean, uh, to John. By the time he gets to Pastor Reggie, one, two, three, four, we'll be saying four, two, three, one. Because if you are passing it on, it filters. So they don't go by somebody tell me it was so. In the Jewish culture, you have to be an eyewitness. You have to be a witness. And you only need two 
or three witnesses. And that's what the scripture said. From the mouth of two or three witnesses, the word of God, what? Will be what? Will be established. Sometimes you can have a dream that something is going to happen because you have it. That doesn't mean that it's going to happen. There's some things that we see in the spirit or we hear in the spirit or some dreams that we have is not yet established. Out of the what? The mouth of two or three, the word of the Lord will be established. One of the witnesses to Jesus' finished work on the cross is the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit was an eyewitness. Holy Spirit is a witness to Jesus. He was there in the beginning. He was there when Jesus baptized. The Bible makes us understand that after he baptized, what did the Holy Spirit did? He descended like a dog. He was there. Holy Spirit was there during crucifixion. He witnessed it. Holy Spirit was there. When he was in the tomb, he witnessed it. Holy Spirit was there. When Jesus resurrected from the dead, he witnessed everything that happened to Jesus. So the Holy Spirit revealed to us the finished work of Christ. Glory to God. He witnessed everything. Even the Holy Spirit revealed to us what we know is finished. He revealed to us that the cross of Jesus is a divine exchange. Through the Holy Spirit. If you are not in the Spirit, you will know it. You will just think they are crucifying or killing a thief. But the Holy Spirit revealed what actually happened on the cross. There was a divine exchange. Cross is what? Divine exchange. What do I mean by that? That I have Yes, it comes, shall come. Have you said divine exchange? The cause is what? Divine exchange. It's good to have this revelation. So if the enemy come to talk to you, to discourage you, let him know the cross. Because the cross was what? Divine exchange. Now, shall come, face me. That's what's in Jesus. Jason is a man. Thank God he's a man. Face me, face me, face me. On the cross, if not the Holy Spirit, we will not understand what actually happened on the cross. It was Jesus, the Holy Spirit, that revealed to us the fullness of what happened on the cross. The finished work of the cross. The divine exchange is Sean is Jesus. Jason represents mankind, humanity. This guy, Jesus, obey God, never sinned, never committed anything wrong. He followed the path of God. He did the will of God. He obeyed God. So he desired what? Blessing. But this guy, thank you, sir. He was a sinner. This guy disobeyed God. This guy did not worship God. He's supposed to receive what? Punishment. This is punishment. This is what? Reward for obedience. Reward for disobedience. So the Holy Spirit revealed to us the cross, when you look at the cross, is actually divine exchange. What this guy des deserves, hold on to this. Put in my mouth here. This guy deserves what? Blessing, possession, to be at the right hand of the Father. This guy deserves reward from God. Don't go too far for me. Like him. But this guy deserves this. But on the cross, what Jesus was doing on the cross, he came to die for this blessing and went here. This guy 
did not deserve this time. This time deserved this time. But because of the love of God, the depth, the width, the height, the length of the blood of the world, love of God, how much he loves us. He said, hey, even though this guy decided this, and this guy decided this, I love them so much. My love is so deep. My love is so long. My love is so wide. I will not give you what you desire. So this head went here. And this guy did everything right. This guy never sinned. What this guy supposed to receive, he went what? Divine what? Not only the very stage. of the cross. The Holy Spirit revealed to us, Jesus paid the price for everything. So you can exchange your sickness for divine health. You can exchange your poverty and put it on this guy. This guy paid the price for it. This guy didn't pay nothing but the depth of the love of Christ. Because of the wit of the love of Christ, because of the length of the weight of Christ, he said, "You know what? I will took everything. He took our pain. He bought our sorrows, and by His life we are healed." Someone said, "Divine exchange." Come on, someone said, "Divine exchange." When I look at the cross, I don't just see a wooden cross. I see Jesus, and I see. Divine exchange because the Holy Spirit revealed to us the depth of the love of Christ. He revealed to us the length, the weight of the love of Christ, the fullness of His work. If I were you, you need to exchange your sorrow, give it to Jesus, and receive His blessing. Come on, somebody shout amen. Come on, somebody shout amen. Come on, somebody shout divine exchange. Come on, somebody say divine exchange. Come on, to say divine exchange. If you are sick today, exchange it with Jesus. Whatever you're going through today, exchange it with Jesus. He paid the price. He finished the work on the cross. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He didn't just start there. He started with Jacob. Blessing. Ephraim and Manasseh. You remember that story? Trying to open the Bible. Jacob was supposed to lay his hand on the oldest. Because the Lord said the blessing of the father, double portion from the father, go to the firstborn. It was supposed to go to the firstborn. And Jacob did what? He put a blessing. The younger one, the Lord did not. The law says that the blessing go to the first. But Jesus said, it doesn't matter. I die for everyone. I pay the price for everyone. It was Christmas. That is the message of God. Divine exchange means, or mercy means, that this guy did not receive what he deserved. He received what? The left hand. This guy received what? The right hand. But because Jesus, he died for our sins. He paid the price for our healing. He paid the price for our deliverances. He paid the price for our sorrow. There's a divine exchange. That's what I tell the devil. If you want to condemn you, tell him the cross. Take him back to the cross. And if I can't say the cross, God 
God bless you. Come on, give him praise. At the cross, there was a divine exchange. Everything that humanity desired because of his disobedience and rebellion was upon Jesus. And everything that Jesus desired because of his full obedience was given to those who believe in him. Can we say divine exchange? He took our sin, all of our sins. He gave us forgiveness of sin. Amen? Let's move quick to number three. There's a place I need to get to. So before we go there, let me just give you this. Divine exchange. Can we say divine exchange? He took our slavery that we might receive freedom. He took our slavery that we might receive his freedom. Christmas, cross, he took it and received his blessing. Deliverance, he paid the price for it. The Holy Spirit revealed to us that the cross of Jesus was divine exchange. He took our poverty so that we will receive his prosperity. Amen. If I were you, I will exchange your pro poverty with his prosperity. The Bible says, even though he was rich, even though he was what? He was rich. Jesus was not poor. Jesus was rich. He voluntarily became poor. Divine exchange. So that we might be rich. He became poor. For us. Glory to God. Amen. I don't receive poverty. I don't receive lack. Jesus already paid the price for it. I look upon the cross and say, God, I want your prosperity. Because Jesus paid the price for it. It's a divine exchange. He became poor. So that we might be rich. He became a slave. So we might be free. It's a divine exchange. Hallelujah. He took our shame. To be, to be crucified on the cross. It was shame. It was openly. He was crucified openly. He was not the thief. He did everything right. Glory to God. But the Holy Spirit revealed to us that it was divine exchange. All of this happened so we can receive the blessings of God. Glory to God. He sinned. He took our sin. Slavery for freedom. Poverty for prosperity. Shame. We receive his glory. Hallelujah. There's no shame in Christ Jesus. If you're in Christ Jesus, there's no shame. You will walk in glory. You will walk in prosperity. You will walk in freedom. Because on the cross, the Holy Spirit revealed to us it was divine exchange. They were not killing a thief. He never stole nothing. Hallelujah. He was paying the price for our sin. He took our shame so that we will receive glory. He took our death so that we will receive his life. Hallelujah. We have the life of God. Can we say amen to that? Glory to God. Let me give you number three. I love number three. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit revealed to us that Satan was defeated on the cross. He revealed to us Satan is defeat on the cross. Not only divine exchange, but also revealed to us that Satan was what? Defeat on the cross. See what Jesus said to the Holy Spirit? Let's go to John 16, 8. John 16, 8. 
Man, I think this is victory for the church of Jesus Christ. We need to get the revelation of what the Holy Spirit is here to do. Amen. It's not only to make us prophesy. It's not only to heal, but it reveals some things to us that we can never know unless it's by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. He tells us the fullness of Jesus, who Jesus is truly is. Some think Jesus is only a prophet. Jesus is more than a prophet. Jesus is God. Hallelujah. God in the flesh. Are you hearing me? I'm here to tell you, even Jesus did not have the DNA of Mary. And he did not have the DNA of Joseph. He had the DNA of the Holy Ghost. Because the Bible makes us understand that the Holy Ghost came upon Mary. Hallelujah. He was not the DNA of Mary. He was not, he cannot be the DNA of Mary and he cannot be the DNA of Joseph because if we have that DNA, that DNA was corrupt. That DNA full of sin. If he die, he will never resurrect again. But he have a DNA that never sinned. He have a poor, pure DNA. He has a perfect DNA. In that DNA, the life of God is inside that DNA. That DNA cannot die. That DNA lives forever. That's why I say, oh God, I am the resurrection and the life. You cannot kill life. Hallelujah. Jesus is full of life. He never sinned. He didn't have Adamic blood. Mary was Adam. He has what? Adamic blood. Adam had what? Adamic blood. But Jesus cannot carry their blood. Even Jesus said, he said, my body was formed in heaven. Everything was formed in heaven. He cannot be formed on earth. Because Adamic blood was contaminated by sin. So that's why Jesus had to oh God. That's why God told them the seed of a woman. The seed of a woman. That's the first promise of Jesus coming. The seed of a woman. I said to myself, women don't carry seed. Do they? Maybe I'm wrong. Am I, am I wrong? Do they carry seed? Who carries seed? Was it the seed of a woman? God was just looking for a woman that is faithful, looking for a virgin that can carry the seed of God. What that means is saying, I don't need any man obligation. I'm doing this by myself. Either you like it or not, Jesus is coming. You can't stop it. All you need to do is to find a virgin that is faithful. And the Bible makes us understand that the Holy Ghost, actually the angel appeared to Mary. And he said that the Holy Spirit will come upon you and overshadow you. The word overshadow means it's not your doing. It's the doing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at this. Number three, he revealed to us that Satan's defeat at the cross. John 16, 8 said, and when he has come, that's the Holy Spirit, when the Holy Spirit has come, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of now not to judge believers. But listen to this. Let's go to verse 11. John 16. He will convict of sin and righteousness so that we can be saved. Look at verse 16. Of judgment because the ruler of this world is judged. He was judged on the cross. Amen. Holy Spirit is the one that revealed this to us, the defeat of Satan. Even the Bible tells us in Colossians 2.15, it says, having disarmed principalities and power, it disarmed them. Hallelujah. Now, 
when people, if you're in the natural, you will think the cross is defeat for us. Actually, the cross is victory for us. In the natural eyes, it's lie. We are losing our Messiah. But what he was actually doing on the cross, he was disarming principality. Not only he disarmed, he defeated principality. Not only he disarmed, he was destroying principality and destroy principality. Openly. Openly. That's why deliverance sometimes, I like to do it openly sometimes. But the devil will get mad and let him know you've been defeated on the cross. And this is the evidence. For people can have witness of the truth that Satan has been defeated. Can somebody say amen? He said, having disarmed principalities and power, he make a public spectacles of them. Triumphing over them. Put the shame. Also, you think it's a shame cause to be crucified on the cross. But also, it's a divine exchange. No shame on Jesus, but shame on the enemy. And victory for Jesus. Come on, someone say victory. Someone say victory. Come as a victory. It was supposed to be shame to be crucified on the cross. But really, the devil received it. Hallelujah. And Jesus received victory. Come on, somebody said, Victory is mine. Come on, victory is mine. The cross of Jesus is victory. It's not a shame. Glory to God. It's a divine exchange. The devil received the shame. And Jesus received the victory. The Holy Spirit revealed to us uh, in our naked heart it's like we've been defeated. But no, the devil was being defeated. On the cross of Jesus. If the devil talked to you, remind him the cross. If you say you can't make it, say I'm going to make it the cross. If you say you are sick and you're going to be sick, you're not going to make it, give him the cross. Put your sickness to Jesus. And receive the good head of Jesus. Somebody say, Yay! Yay! I am healed. I am delivered. For what Christ has done on the cross. There's a divine exchange. I am not poor. Who tell you you are poor? Exchange your poverty. Exchange your lack. Exchange your sickness. Exchange your slavery for his freedom. Yes! Yes! Yes, I like that song. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Cross. The cross. Remind him about the cross. Exchange your lack. Exchange your sickness. Exchange your infirmity. Exchange your slavery. Exchange your poverty. Exchange your weakness. And then exchange it. Divine exchange. Yes. 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 Exchange. Glory to God. You are delivered. You are healed. Just give it to Jesus. Receive his blessing. Receive his freedom. Receive his prosperity. Receive his healing. He paid the price. He paid the price for him. Freedom is yours. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I am free here. Do not pay the price. I'm not poor. I am rich. I am delivered. I am healed. Not by my strength, by his strength. There's a divine exchange on the cross. Exchange it. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. Let me go. Let's change. The cross. Tell him about the cross. Let him know about the cross. Be paying your price on the cross. 
He paid for your freedom on the cross. There's a divine exchange. Cross of Jesus is divine exchange. Yeah. I receive the blessing. He took my sicknesses. He took my pain. He took my lack. He took my infirmity. Somebody say yeah to Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Somebody say the cross of Jesus. The cross of Jesus. The cross. The cross. The cross. The cross. The cross. The cross, divine exchange, he paid the price for my sin. He paid the price for my slavery. He paid the price for my shame. I can walk in glory. I feel it. 
I finished. He defeated him on the cross. He destroyed him on the cross. He destroyed on the cross. And he disarmed on the cross. All you have to do, receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Connect to Jesus. Hallelujah. You are free. You are delivered. And you are set free. In Jesus' name. Come on, somebody shout. The cross. The cross. The cross. The cross. Yes. 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 The cross. Jesus set me free. He delivered me. The cross of Jesus give me freedom. The cross of Jesus give me glory. The cross of Jesus give me prosperity. Yeah. 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 The shout of the king is in their mouth. Somebody shout like a king because you are in King Jesus. You are a king under Jesus. Jesus is the king of kings. Jesus is the high priest. He paid for it. Right now, he's not working anymore. He's seated at the right hand of the Father. He means he has finished the work. He has fulfilled the work. There's nothing else to be done. Jesus did it. Jesus did it. I said Jesus did it on the cross. He paid the price on the cross. He's unstoppable. You can't kill him. He laid his life down voluntarily because he is God. You can't kill God. You can't destroy God. He laid his life down because he has the power. He has the power to lay down and he has the power. Mm. Oh, Holy Ghost, I feel you. I feel you, Holy Ghost. I feel you, Holy Ghost. I feel you, Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. I feel the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is not electricity, but when he come upon you, come on, thank God for the cross. Thank God for the cross. The cross of Jesus. Divine exchange. Send in your sorrow. I like that song. I'm trading my sorrow for you. You know what I mean? You trading it in, giving it to Jesus, so you can receive His joy. Hallelujah. I need to stop, but I have one more. Can I do the last one? It's so powerful. Can I do the last one? Yes, please give me two minutes. Holy Ghost, two minutes. Holy Ghost is here, church. Holy Ghost is here. Because this is the church of Jesus Christ. You will see every aspect of our service. You can see the spirit. I see it. It's here. Jesus is here. By the power of the Holy Ghost. So Jesus revealed to us the Holy Spirit. Revealed to us the fullness of the person of Christ. He revealed that to us. He revealed to us. Number two. Can you explain number two? We got to get this revelation. It was revealed by the Holy Spirit. Number two, he revealed to us the finished work of the cross. It's finished. Even Jesus said it. It is finished. It is finished. During crucifixion, it was twice Jesus screamed. The first time he screamed, Ela, Eli, Eli, La Samatabatani. That's not Hebrew. I thought that was Aramic. Yeah, it was Aramic. Eli, Eli, Lama Sabatani. My God, my God, why are you forsaking me? 
That was the moment he carried all our sin. He carried all our issues. He carried everything. And right there, there was one separation. For the wages of sin is what is that? Separation. We have to separate from God that he has been with the one in eternity. In eternity past. With one. God the Son. God the Father. God the Holy Spirit was one. But it was separation is painful. When someone that you love is living, that's why we cry. We feel the pain. Because they're connected to our soul. They're part of us. When they leave us. Eli, Eli, Lama, Tabatani. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Because God cannot look upon sin. You have to go. So that's why he went to hell, actually. He went to Sheol. He went to Sheol. And he also went to Tatarius. I won't go there. That's another message. He went there. But on her, he finished everything. The second shout was a shout of victory. He screamed. Imagine someone that's dying, they lose strength. Jesus screamed. It is finished. That was victorious. All this being revealed to her, the reason why he shouted is a shout, shout of triumph. I have finished the work. I have paid the price. It's now for them to walk in it. Number three. They reveal to all that Satan. Oh, I have to go to number four. Oh God, I'm glad to stop there. Four. You know number four? I will tell you what happened and summarize it. Number four, and I will stop there. I promise. For somebody, you need to pray. I have to reveal this to you. I have to explain it. Holy Spirit, intercede for us. You pay attention. I know you know it, but I'm going to bring understanding how it actually happened. How Holy Spirit do that. Go to Romans 8.26. It says the spirit. Pay attention. The spirit also helps in our weaknesses. What is the spirit? Can we say all the spirit? All the spirit helps in our what? Weaknesses. For we do not know what we should pray for as we are. But the spirit itself Notice the what? The Spirit itself makes intercession for us with groaning. So, who is interceding? But the Bible says the Holy Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. You know what God do? He feels our weakness. Oh, let me sit down to preach, God. He feels our weaknesses. So what you see, he saw we are going through. We are going through challenges. Every time is an attack. Every time is problem. Every time is financial issue. So the Holy Spirit feels that. So what the Holy Spirit will do, then he will carry for the job coming. Come here. Oh, God. I'm Holy Spirit. He needed some things to be done. And we trust in God for it. So the Holy Spirit feels that. Feels the weaknesses. Then the Holy Spirit will take his body. His body. Holy Spirit will put it on the bed. And 
it will become oh shit it will become on the spirit burden. That's why it's so powerful. We get the revelation of the Holy Spirit. Why the Holy Spirit is with us. That's what Paul was telling us. He feels your pain. He feels your body. And he know your weakness. You can't handle this by yourself. So what he will do? He will take it. I will give you an example. It happened here Friday. Last Friday and the two Friday before. You will see what I'm talking about if you are here. Then the Holy Spirit will take that body. If you speak in the tongue, it will take that body. That's what it will do. Okay? So what happened is that all the spirit have taken his body and the Holy Spirit in that body is now belong to the Holy Spirit. Now I'm the Holy Spirit that I begin to pray. You know what the Holy Spirit will do? Oh God, we have to get this. Have mercy, Lord, according to your will, according to loving kindness. Father is your son. Father is your faithful son. Have mercy on him. Answer his prayer. Give him the provision that he needs. This is his body. So the father will take it. Then the father will approve it. And give it to the Holy Spirit. It is done. It is done. It is done. That's what the Holy Spirit do. He knows our weaknesses. He feels our body. Don't fight alone. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Cry out in the Holy Ghost. You are not one praying, but the Holy Spirit is praying for you to the Father. Let me say, two Fridays ago and last Friday, it happened this often. Somebody, when I tell them to be, I won't mention her name. When I tell them to pray in the spirit, do you know what the person was saying in the spirit? Actually, I interpreted what that person in the spirit. No, Holy Spirit was interceding. He was saying, "Ah, God, answer me, oh Lord." But he was not praying for you. Took it from her. Took a body from her and it becomes the Holy Spirit body. And the Holy Spirit will take it to the Father. The person was praying here. Also, we take some of the two special prayers, they will tell you those that were there. Oh my God. I tell her to pray. We want to do special prayer. You know what the Lord told me? No. The Lord said, No. Next time, you pray in the Holy Ghost. God is my. Walk with her to speak properly in tongue. She was praying. And God opened her supernatural spirit. She had everything she was saying in the spirit. And what she was saying, she was speaking to her situation. Holy Spirit was speaking and he was saying and speaking to the devil, you got to leave me alone. It's time. Even he gave the Holy Spirit, he gave the de devil demarcation. Don't come over here. You stay over here. I'm going to stay over here. I said, he was not saying understanding. He was saying in the spirit. That means she was not one praying. The Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost were praying. He took it. He became Holy Spirit body. And Holy Spirit is praying for you. Hallelujah. You need to learn how to pray in the Holy Ghost. When you pray in the Holy Ghost, you are not praying. Holy Ghost is praying. Come on, somebody give him praise. Come on, somebody give him praise. Oh God, I'm talking.
Come on, give me praise. Come on, give me praise. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we give you praise. Oh, I'm going to stop. Pastor Major, come. I'll give you praise. I'll give you praise. Make Holy Ghost carry your body. Don't do it by yourself. Holy Spirit, help us to intercede. He will take, I'm serious, He will take you to the Father. Holy Spirit, know exactly what it happened here. Two Sundays ago, Friday, it happened last Friday as well. You are praying. I said, no, she's not more praying. Holy Spirit, now your body has become Holy Spirit, what? Body. And the Holy Spirit will take you to the Father. There are two intercessors. I will stop. Two intercessors. I will stop us. Two intercessors for us. Holy Spirit and Jesus is the second intercessor. Come close your eyes and bow your head. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that you have sent to us. Your spirit, the spirit of truth to guide us in all things. Also to intercede for us and carry our burden and make our burden to become his burden and take it to the Father. Father, we thank you. That revealed to us the depth of Christ's love. It revealed to us the width, the height, the length of Christ's love for us. That even you send the Holy Spirit to intercede for us. Because we don't know how to pray. But the Holy Spirit does. Father, we thank you. Thank you that the Holy Spirit also revealed the fullness of the person of Christ. We thank you. That the Holy Spirit also revealed to us the finished work of the cross. It is finished. Christ paid for everything. Father, help us by the power of the Holy Spirit so we can begin to walk in victory. In the name of Jesus. Today we pray that everyone will have relationship with the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is a person, not a thing. Holy Spirit has His own will. Help us to have relationship with the Holy Spirit to help us. And help us not to grieve the Holy Spirit of God. Father, we thank you. We bless you in Jesus' name. Come on, someone say amen. amen. Oh. Honey, is that one reason why he said he will send us a comforter? Ah. A prayer warrior. Ah. So it's a comforter because he, te- he takes our burden. I get it. I don't need to tell anybody, even the people out there. You see, I remember Benny Hill was having a service once. And I said, God, I need to draw everything. I saw everybody was on the floor and feet, everybody was slaying. I said, God, I want to draw, I want everything. And in no time, there's a there's like a current came through the screen because my I placed a demand on the anointing. And in no time, a current came to I'll never forget this thing and it hit me right here. Glory to God, hallelujah. And I screamed and I went outside. I forgot who was in uh, my husband or someone with the children. I don't remember who it was. It's been some years. And I said, Lord, I, I said, I said, Lord, the Holy Ghost just hit me. Holy Ghost just hit me. And I'm stopping them doing like this. Glory to God. There's something about placing up the demand on the anointing. Amen. Glory to God. So now we you see the anointing. When you see the anointing, everybody just needs to run up here. Glory to God and put their money, put your tithe. Put your offering into this anointing here. It's not no ordinary anointing. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. And what you're doing, you're placing a demand. Glory to God. I know you've been faithful, God. So I'm going to be faithful to you. Run up. Glory to God. And give to God. On the screen, it should be on the screen now. You just need to do the same thing. Get your phone, get your tablet, whatever it is. Glory to God and put him, hallelujah, first place. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's take this thing out of the field of God.
It's a new season. It's a new day. A fresh anointing is coming my way. It's a season of power and prosperity. It's a new season coming to me. It's a new season. It's a new day. A fresh anointing is flowing my way. Season of power, power and prosperity. It's a new season. It's a new season coming to me. It's a new season. It's a new season. It's a new day. It's a new day. A fresh anointing. Fresh anointing coming now in my way. Power, power, and prosperity. It's a new, it's a new season coming to me. I gotta tell you all this. I gotta tell you all this. I mean, I just I continue coming. I, um, I had a vision. I, listen, the Holy Ghost. I just opened my eyes and I looked at both the uh, God says I gave them something. The Lord said, I mean, the Lord said to Maya that there was a massive waterfall. Massive, she says, falling in here, and then and in the waterfall. What else? I forgot. Oh, in, in, in the waterfall, there was two. Yes, I'm saying after that, the waterfall. There were two olive branches in the shape of a crown. Uh huh. And when she said that there was a man walking up in the middle, glory to God. I heard the Lord say, Abraham came to deliver. Abraham blessings are whose? I heard Abraham came to deliver. Oh. By the way, I never thank you all for Mother's Day. Well, I thank you all, many of you all individually uh, for Mother's Day, for being, for just, you know, um, as my husband would say, divine exchange for seeding into the mantle. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We were corrected uh, first many years ago. Um, our spiritual father said, no, no, no. They, they, they're not blessing you with the, their seed. No. They are getting blessed because they're sowing into the mantle that God has placed upon you. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I remember Pastor, the dad got a hold of this thing and he's like, listen, glory to God. It's a divine exchange. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So I thank you all for Remembering me on Mother's Day is a divine exchange. Amen? Amen, 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 amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. King of all kings and Lord of all lords. Father, we honor you. We say we give you thanks. It's just so minuscule. Arados the day. It's so small because. You do such great things. Oh my God. You rescued the children of Israel. You take, took them out overnight. Thousands of people. They left with silver. And they left out after being in bondage. They left out with silver and gold. And you do it in the twinkling. You did it rather in the twinkling of an eye. You said that there is nothing that is too hard for you. And we know it. Lord, there's a, as the diamond says, as you spoke through diamond rather, you said that there's, a, there's been a shift. And God, I thank you for the shift. I can explain how you're going to come in each one of our lives. But I know that it has begun. I know that it has begun, Korabasaya. I know that I know, glory to God, that there has been um, a, a supernatural, my God, my God, oh my God, undeniable proof that you are here. Have your way in all of our lives. 
I thank you for my God shutting down accidents and incidents and shutting down, blocking my God and stopping my God. Oh, hallelujah. That, that devil from being mad and doing what he wants to do because Lord, you got us covered. You got all of us covered. Even the ones that are watching out there. How can we thank you? How can we honor you? Lord, have your way in all of our lives. We give you glory. We give you honor. And we give you praise. Even for this move that has begun. We do not take it lightly. We thank you for all the increase. We thank you for the new uh, position. The new job. The new. Oh wow. I heard you Lord. I, I hear the Lord say even a, re, a realignment. He has realigned somebody. Oh God. I thank you for the realignment. My God. I thank you for the healing. And the mysterious. Thank you Lord. The mysterious healing. And, and supernatural deliverance. My God. But, that I will deliver you in your own house. My God. Uh, my God. My God. Reading you of things that has been uh, ailing you for so long. God, I thank you for the Holy Ghost. Have your way once again. Have your way once again. We are waiting with bated breath. Say, Lord, I know you're moving my way. Oh! Rekata! You're moving my way, Lord. And I thank you for it. Oh, now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest, remain, and abide.